The Bible is telling us that there is no condemnation to us who are in Christ, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. If you look at that condition very well, one is you got to be in Christ Jesus. Second is you don't walk after the flesh. And third is you walk after the spirit. We're going to take these conditions one by one. The first one is them which are in Christ Jesus. We're talking about no condemnation. So these are the criteria to not be condemned. The first criteria is to be in Christ Jesus. We all know what 2 Corinthians 5.17 says. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse number 17. It says, Therefore... If any man, and when he say man, it means woman too. So don't think it's just men. If any man be in Christ, he is what? A new creature. All things are passed away. All things have become new. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. So when you are in Christ, all things is what? Gone. All things have become new all things is what gone all things have become new the flesh is now gone and the spirit has now come in but who are those who can be in christ those who have accepted jesus as their lord and savior those who have proposed in their heart to follow after christ he now said to them who walk not after the flesh so it is possible to be a believer and still walk after the flesh Judas Iscariot did he not walk with Christ for three years he was breaking bread with Jesus hallelujah day in day out every day he was with Christ every day he was with Christ but but he walked after the flesh he was part of those that brought back the good report so the flesh can act as if it is subdued for some time. But at the least expected time, if care is not taken, flesh will manifest. Those who walk after the flesh. Romans 8.1 There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Who walk not after the flesh? What does it mean to walk after the flesh? It means to live according to the flesh. Let's talk about walking in the spirit. Those who walk after the spirit. Matthew chapter 3 verse 11. Bible says, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with and this is John the Baptist speaking here and he's speaking of Christ. Now look, I'm just here to baptize you in the water or repentance but the baptism that you still need is that of the Holy Spirit and is that of fire are you with me you see the day you are conceived you are baptized in the flesh from conception you didn't even know amen but that's what it is but the day you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, he translated us from the power of darkness into his marvelous light. To stay now in the light, you need the power of the Holy Spirit. Lift up your two hands on the heaven. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you.
May the Lord make a way for you. May the Lord put rivers in your desert in the name of Jesus. May the Lord make a way in the wilderness of this life for you. As you go, you'll be blessed. As you come, you'll be blessed. As you go, you'll be favored. As you come, you'll be favored. May you sleep in favor. May you wake up in favor. In all you do, may God favor you. In all you lay your hands upon, may heaven back you up. I command the heavens over your life to be open. Open perpetually. Never to be shut. In the name of Jesus. God will make you a blessing even to generations to come. Your children will be blessed through you. Your children's children will be blessed through you. Your great-great-grandchildren will be blessed through you. In the wonderful name of Jesus. So I decree over you multi-generational blessings. All to the glory of the Most High. At the end of it, may you make heaven. I say it again, may you make heaven. And in this struggle with Mr. Flesh, may your spirit win. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Lord and my God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. God bless you. Have a wonderful week in Jesus' name.